Hey, you folks. How you doing? This is Reverend Wayne S. Pierce right here for the 7th of August, 2014. How you doing? You good? You good? Hey, you know, it's Thursday. It's uh, almost the end of the week. And you're going to have a great weekend. I've been, uh, I was on vacation for a couple of weeks. <laughs> so, hey, I'm back, though. And, you know, ready, willing, and able, and all fired up, ready to go, man. So, get her done. You know, so um, anyway, on the Views Express Live today at 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern on Free America Radio Network, we're going to break down a whole lot of stuff, man, because, you know, I've seen a lot. I've heard a lot. I've seen a lot of disinformation, misinformation. And, uh, well, you know, I got a message for those people that, you know, are, uh, let's just say, too blind to see and too stupid to know it. Okay, so I'm just going to, you know, I got, I got a little message. So you're going to have to tune in to the Views Express Live today, 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern, on Free America Radio Network. A lot of things are going on, a lot of things are happening. And, uh, well, uh, just uh, this is my commentary for the Free America Radio Network, so I just want to mention this. I saw a, um, a video uh, segment uh, about six minutes long something like that, from CBN News, and they were talking to uh, someone from uh, uh, who writes for the examiner.com uh, and also uh, is a uh, Tea Party person. Uh, and um, I really have to say this, and here's my commentary. We've got tunnels underneath the southern border. Now, I don't know how many, I don't know where they go. I know that in the last several years, people in San Diego and those areas have been busted for uh, having tunnels and all of that, and sophisticated ones with pneumatic jacks, you know, pneumatic, you know, things going down where you can put cars in, you know, that kind of thing. So, and unload your drugs and, you know, all that. And uh, they've been busted. But here's the thing, this person on this segment on CBN News had said that not only, I mean, the reporter was saying, is it a possibility that Hamas or, or Pakistanis or terrorists would, you know, come through the tunnels as they do in Israel and, and the Gaza? And this person writing for the examiner, I, I forget his name offhand, and I'll try to get the uh, audio for you for the views expressed today, but um, literally said, I mean, his, his way of answering the question was, it's not only a possibility, this is what's happening. They've got Hamas on the southern border, they've had Pakistanis, Al-Qaeda, you know, all these terrorists coming through the southern border because they have found in their investigation, this writer said that, they have found prayer rugs, information about how to, you know, speak Spanish and, and all of this. I mean, everything you could imagine that a terrorist could have to infiltrate Mexico and get into the United States. They have it. It's there. So, <clears throat> again, I say close the freaking border. And I would even go as far as saying this. When it is safe, when, well, safe, when it is, is, when it is possible, and when there, when there's going to be, uh, well, let me rephrase this. The border is not going to be closed for one simple reason, and that is because the old bastard in office is going uh, to want to satisfy his bosses to collapse the United States and make it a socialist country, period, end of sentence. Okay, so that's why he and his minions, he and his constituents on the Democratic Party side, socialist side, even some Republicans, you can go look at them as well, one open borders. They want to collapse the United States of America for the sole purpose of handing this continent that our founding fathers conquered over to 
the people who are building a new world order. Okay? So that's the thing. Now, how is this going to change if you and I, we the people, get so sick and tired of this bull crap? How is this going to change when we finally step up to the plate in whatever manner possible and defend our country? How is that going to change? Well, look back in history. 3% of the people of, of the colonies in New England looked at the British, you know, monarchy and, and said, you're not going to come take our guns. And guess what? 3% of those people beat back the biggest army in the world at that time, the British army. We won our independence. Our ancestors won the independence for America. I say we because they're our ancestors, but we continue to defend this continent from enemies foreign and domestic. And that's the key thing. So on the border, what do we do about the border, about the tunnels, about all that? I'm going to go this far and say this. A, I do not condone violence of any kind. I don't, I mean, you know, don't go aggressively to someone and beat the crap out of them because you want to. I don't, I don't agree with that. I don't condone that. That's not something I want. I do support defense. Defending this continent, this nation, our states, our counties, our cities, our neighborhoods from enemies foreign and domestic is the key thing. We must defend our freedoms, period. Okay? We must defend our freedoms. Now on this border thing, let me get back to that for a minute. How are we going to stop all those tunnels, all those people, all how well, first of all, we have to close the border. <clears throat> we have to close the border. And I would even go as far as saying, bomb the crap out of the tunnels. <clears throat> Excuse me. Bomb the crap out of the tunnels. You all know where they're at because there's satellites up there that can ground, penetrate the ground with radar to find out all these where all these tunnels are. That is how you find these tunnels. And you bomb the crap out of them. You just bomb the crap out of the border. And whatever is left over, well, oh well. You know, so there you go. Now, Mexico might get a little pissed off, but I don't care. Mexico has to understand, uh, President Nieto down there has to understand that he cannot allow people leaving his country. It's going to economically hurt his country. He has to allow people to defend themselves, citizens to defend themselves against the drug cartels down there. Okay? He has to. Well, immediately he has to uh, release, he has to pardon and release, demand release of Sergeant Tamarisi. Okay? That's what he has to do first of all. Then he can take care of the rest on his own. But is he being paid by the drug cartels? Is he in some way connected with the drug cartels? President Nieto down there. <clears throat> I don't know. Most of them were <clears throat> in the past. Excuse me. Most of them were. You know, because they worked in connection with the United States government to collapse America. Why? Because Canada and Mexico are socialist countries. Look at them. Canada is ruled by the Queen of England. Mexico is ruled by the drug cartels. <laughs> okay. I mean, and something else. I think Spain still has some sort of connection with Mexico and stuff like that. But it's it, those two countries in the North American continent are socialist countries. The only one left that is standing that is not socialist is the United States. Once we collapse economically, politically, everything, we become a socialist nation, and then we can close the door on every single sovereignty, freedom, liberty that we ever had, and we will be part of the North American Union. Period. End of sentence. Now, how are we going to change that? How are we, the people, going to change that? We're going to change that very simply. 
we're going to defend this nation by any means necessary to the fullest extent that we can. And we're going to get that gut check, that reality check and say, hey, this is what's happening. We're going to have to do that. That's just the bottom line. We're going to have to do that. <clears throat> Thank you for listening to this commentary. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or even if you disagree with me, it's okay. It's fine. I do get a little defensive at times, but if you present it very well, you and I can have a decent discussion. Email me, freeamericaradio at usa.com. Freeamericaradio at usa.com. Come join me on the Views Express Live today at 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern, right here on the Free America Radio Network. Go to freeamericaradio.us to listen to the show. And if you want to join me in the chat room, go to spreaker.com and uh, look for Free America Radio Network and join me in the chat room there as well. And, uh, well, more commentaries to come. And uh, I want to thank you for listening to this. If you want to support Free America Radio Network with your donations, you can do that. FreeAmericaRadio.us. Go down to the bottom. Hit the donation or donate button. And also, I accept Bitcoin. And please get your emergency food supplies today as well. So go to FreeAmericaRadio.us and do that. Thank you very much. This has been... The Free America Radio Network commentary for the 7th of August, 2014. Thank you very, very much.